Thank you very much, fellow Kenyans. Today, I want to speak about the new university funding model. Kenyans, as you are aware, that education in this country is being made unbearable, is being made expensive by the current president, William Ruto. You are all aware what parents are going through, toiling, moiling, doing very odd jobs just for them to educate their children. Kenyans, we know that during President Ruto's time, education was free at the university. Why was education free at the university? We are all aware that during President Ruto's time, there was what we, we called BOOM. BOOM was a grant that was given to students to be educated. Ruto is among, was among the beneficiaries of BOOM. He was funded for free, got education for free at the university level. And therefore, I don't understand why university education cannot be free. I don't understand why we must tax heavily the parents, children who are coming from very poor backgrounds, children who are going to drop out of university because of lack of fees. The current funding model is doing more harm to the poor parents, to the needy students who are supposed to join various universities. We know and we are aware and we've been told severally by President Ruto that he used to sell chicken to raise school fees at the high school level and primary school level. He told us that he sold eggs to be educated. Why is President Ruto being inhuman? Why is President Ruto hurting Kenyans? Why is President Ruto punishing students? Why is President Ruto ensuring that Kenyans are not getting education? And also, for that matter, quality education. Ruto is today a president of the Republic of Kenya because of education. Why not for education, he would have never come to Nairobi. Why not for education, he would have never been a president. Why not for education, he would have never also messed us up as a nation. So therefore, education has played an important role in Ruto's life. Why is Ruto killing education system in our country? As Babu we know, I know the importance of education. I will do anything so that a child in this country gets education. So that a child that comes from Nyanza region, a child that comes from Mount Kenya region, a child that comes from Rift Valley region, a child that comes from Coast, Northeastern, Nairobi, a child that comes from Eastern, gets education. And therefore, I will mobilize students across this nation, and I want to also speak to the student leaders just briefly. I want President Ruto to suspend and to scrap off, not even suspend, to scrap off this new funding model. As Babu Owino, knowing very, very well the importance of education, and it is because of education, that is why I am where I am. It is because of education, that is why I managed to come to Nairobi. It is because of education, that is why I studied, that is why I became a student leader. It is because of education, that is why I was elected as a member of parliament. And it is because of education that will make our children, the students, the comrades, make a difference in life. Education plays an important role in economic development. The role of education in building the economy of a state is by provision of new ideas, provision of the technical skills that is needed in every 
field. When you go to agriculture, you need education so that you can know in what ratio do you need to mix fertilizer so that you can know how a land can be plowed to give you maximum yield and maximum productivity. If you go to hospitals in the health sector, you know the role of doctors, the role of nurses, the role of medics. If you go to any field, the engineers, we know what they do in this nation. Teachers, we know how they train pupils, learners, and all students. Therefore, education plays a very pivotal role. It is the fulcrum, it is the backbone of the economy in this nation. Therefore, education should never be messed up with. We should give it maximum priority. And as a result of this, so many students are not going to join universities. So many students haven't joined high schools because their parents lack money. This new funding model, we've seen the way it is working and it is very retro retrogressive. It is not yielding the results that it ought to have yielded. Ruto has decided that students will be discriminated upon based on their status in life. In Kenya, statistics from the Kenya Bureau of Statistics shows clearly well that 85% of Kenyans come from very, very poor backgrounds. They are very poor, they can't afford. And therefore, if 85% of Kenyans come from very poor backgrounds, how then will a parent afford education? Even 9,000 Kenya shillings, a child is being sent away from high school because of 9,000 Kenya shillings in a year, because a parent cannot afford these 9,000 Kenya shillings. When you go to a mamamboga, to a boda boda rider, who is earning only 100 shillings or 200 shillings in a day, this is a parent who cannot afford to educate one or two children. A student is sent home because of lack of 9,000. How will this parent afford over 10,000 in a year, over 20,000 in a year, over 100,000 in a year, over 200 to 300,000 in a year that the university education is offering? The Truto is making sure that these parents are paying exorbitantly for education. I want to come back to the relevant examples. So many mothers, so many fathers, so many students have sent me their fee structure, have sent me uh, messages, they have called me, we've talked to them. They can't afford education. They are talking on media. They are talking on social media. They are talking on both print and, and, and electronic media. And the message is simple, that they can't afford education. There was a mamamboga that was aired on, on, on TV the other day. The mamamboga is saying clearly that she has been put on a different band, band five. How did you get to know as a president that this mamamboga can afford over 200,000 in terms of fee? How did you know that a boda boda rider can afford over 50,000 as school fees? Is, ain't this a way of killing education in this nation? We probably know that you are punishing these students, Mr. Ruto. Stop punishing these students. We are only asking for one thing, that you rescind any decision, you scrap off this new funding model. We know that it is these university students who are demonstrating together with other Kenyans, and you've come out, you want to punish them so that they don't get education. It is only this education that will make a difference in their lives. Therefore, give them this education. I'm calling upon all student leaders, I'm aware, that at 2 p.m., President Ruto is meeting student leaders from various universities with the aim of bribing them so that they don't go on the streets to demonstrate against this new funding model. Universities should not be opened anytime soon until this new uh, university funding model is scrapped off because it is not working. Everybody in Kenya is poor. Over 85% of Kenyans are poor according to statistics. And therefore, you can't opt to say that they can afford fees so that you put them in different bands. So the band 5, the band 4s, 
any student that is going to be put in that band and they are poor. They can't afford that education. Therefore, any person that can afford education is not learning in Kenya. They are learning abroad. Their parents have made sure that they are getting access to education outside this country. Any person who is in a Kenyan public university or private university comes from a very humble background, comes from a very needy background. And therefore, the meeting that you are going to do at 2 p.m., I call upon the student leaders. The way you are going to attend those meetings, please do not mess with the future of this nation. Do not mess with the education of this nation. It is only that education that will help us from the shackles of bondage. It is only through education that we shall come from the jaws of poverty. It is only that education that is going to ensure that our children get that which they deserve in life. It is only through that education that the economy of this nation can be built in provision of matter skills. It is only through that education that you and I can make it in life. Therefore, that education should never be negotiated on, should never be bargained on. There should be no agreement between you and President Ruto on matters education if it is not about scrapping off the new funding model. Ruto did say that those who are put in band one will pay less fees. If 9,000, if, if parents can't afford 9,000 at the high school level, how then will they afford over 50,000, 100,000, 200,000 at the university level? And therefore, President Ruto, let's go back to the old funding model where there was help, higher education loans board, where a student having passed examination was being called to the university. They, are being given, they were being given help. They get educated. Then after that, they were paying for these loans after their education. Let us not mess the over 200,000 students, over 100,000 students who are not capable of joining universities. And for those who are going to join, they are going to drop out because in one way or the other, they are not going to afford this fee moving forward. Student leaders, it is my prayer to you, together with the students. I know universities are coming back in September. There are those who are joining now, this week, next week, for the first years. I urge you all to hold peaceful demonstrations in all universities in Kenya, both public and private, and also uh, uh, in colleges. Please hold peaceful demonstrations. Let it not be once. Let it not be twice. Let it be almost on a daily basis so that this new funding model will be scrapped off. We've given sufficient time to President Ruto to rescind this decision, but he has refused. He's busy calling student leaders in state house to bribe them. Refuse this, reject this in totality, occupy the streets, come out in large numbers, fight for your own rights, fight for your own life. And I believe that you are going to achieve it. If we made it in the finance bill, if we made sure that the finance bill wasn't signed by Ruto, we can make sure that this university funding model is scrapped off. So comrades, I'm with you in this war. We shall fight together. We shall win this. Ruto is only one person with a few leaders who don't reason. For us, we are the majority. We are with God and we are with the people. And therefore, we are going to win this. If you follow the instructions that I'm giving you, we are going to fight this and we shall, we shall enjoy the fruits that shall come with this. We shall all go to the city of victory together. Let us do it once again. Student leaders after State House plan for demonstrations across universities in this country. Of course, peaceful demonstrations. Thank you and God bless you all.